What if I told you that your social security check could suddenly jump by $200 every month? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, buckle up because a groundbreaking new bill might just make that a reality. Today, we're diving into a proposal that could change the game for millions of American retirees. Whether you're collecting social security now, nearing retirement, or just starting to think about your financial future, you won't want to miss this. Get ready for a deep dive into the Social Security Expansion Act, a plan that could put an extra $2,400 in your pocket every year and secure the future of America's retirement system. Stay tuned, because this could be the most important financial news you'll hear all year. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSS, DI, and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. Let's start with the big news. A groundbreaking piece of legislation called the Social Security Expansion Act has just been introduced. Now, this isn't just any ordinary bill. It's a bold attempt to address one of the most pressing issues facing our nation's retirees and soon-to-be retirees. The masterminds behind this proposal? None other than Representative Peter DeFazio, a Democrat from Oregon, and Senator Bernie Sanders, an independent from Vermont. But before we dive into the details of this bill, let's take a step back and look at why such drastic action is being proposed in the first place. For decades, Social Security has been a cornerstone of retirement planning for millions of Americans. It's that safety net we've all been counting on, right? But here's the thing. This safety net is showing some serious signs of strain. Earlier this month, the Social Security Administration dropped a bombshell. They announced that without significant changes, Americans will stop receiving their full Social Security benefits in roughly 13 years. Let that sink in for a moment. If you're in your 50s or early 60s now, this could directly impact your retirement plans. But why is this happening? Well, it's a perfect storm of demographic shifts and economic challenges. As the baby boomer generation enters retirement, there are more people drawing benefits and fewer workers paying into the system. Add to that increased life expectancy, and you've got a recipe for a funding shortfall. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Inflation. We're all feeling the pinch of rising prices, right? But for seniors and others on fixed incomes, this inflation is more than just an inconvenience. It's a serious threat to their financial stability. Here's how it works. Social Security recipients receive one cost of living adjustment, or COLA, each year. This COLA is supposed to keep their benefits in line with rising prices. Sounds good in theory, right? But here's the problem. This year's COA increase of 5.9% is being absolutely dwarfed by the skyrocketing inflation rate. Let me throw some numbers at you. In May, inflation rose by a whopping 8.6% from a year ago. That's a four-decade high. We're talking about massive increases in the cost of essentials like food, shelter, and energy. For many seniors, this means watching their purchasing power wane month after month despite the COLA increase they received. So, what's the solution proposed by this new bill? Brace yourselves, because this is big. The Social Security Expansion Act suggests boosting each recipient's monthly check by $200. That might not sound like much at first, but let's break it down. We're talking about an annual increase of $2,400 per recipient. To put this into perspective, the average monthly Social Security check is currently about $1,658. This proposed $200 increase would represent a 12% boost. For many seniors who rely heavily or entirely on Social Security for their income, this could be truly life-changing. But the bill doesn't stop there. Let's dive into some of the other major changes it proposes. One of the most significant changes proposed in this bill is the expansion of the Social Security payroll tax. Currently, the Social Security tax only applies to earnings up to $147,000. Any income above that? It's not subject to this tax. The new bill proposes applying the Social Security payroll tax to all income above $250,000. This is a huge shift that could significantly shore up the program's funding. 
It's an attempt to ensure that high-income earners contribute more to the system, potentially securing its long-term viability. Now, you might be wondering, who exactly would benefit from these changes? Well, the bill is designed to cast a wide net. Anyone who is a current Social Security recipient would see their monthly check increase by $200. But it doesn't stop there. The bill also extends this benefit to anyone who will turn 62 in 2023, that's the earliest age at which an individual can claim Social Security benefits. This means that if you're nearing retirement age, you could be looking at a significantly larger Social Security check than you might have been expecting. It's a change that could impact millions of Americans, both current retirees and those on the cusp of retirement. But the bill isn't just about increasing the dollar amount of benefits. It also proposes some technical changes that could have a big impact over time. One of the most significant of these is a change to how the annual cost of living adjustment, COL, is calculated. Currently, the Social Security Administration uses something called the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW, to calculate the COLA. The new bill proposes switching to a different measure, the Consumer Price Index for the Elderly, CPIA. Now, I know what you're thinking. CPIW, CPIE. What's the difference? Well, it turns out quite a lot. The CPIE is designed to more accurately reflect the spending patterns of senior citizens. It puts more weight on expenses that tend to be higher for seniors, particularly healthcare costs. To give you an idea of the potential impact of this change, consider this. According to the Senior Citizens League, if the CPIE had been used to index the annual COLA for Social Security over the past 30 years, a senior who filed for Social Security benefits three decades ago would have received about $14,000 more in retirement compared to the CPIW calculations. The bill also aims to give a significant boost to the lowest income earners in the U who receive benefits under a program called the Special Minimum Benefit. Under the proposed legislation, this benefit would be indexed so that it's equal to about 125% of the federal poverty line. In practical terms, this would mean a monthly benefit of about $1,400. To put that in perspective, in 2020, the Special Minimum Benefit paid about $900 per month. That's a substantial increase aimed at providing a more robust safety net for our most vulnerable seniors. Now, I know what many of you are thinking. This all sounds great, but is it sustainable? How are we going to pay for all this? Well, that's where the expansion of the payroll tax comes in. According to Rep. DeFazio, expanding the payroll tax as proposed in this bill would boost the Social Security Administration's trust fund ensuring its solvency through 2096. That's a massive extension from the current projection, which suggests full benefits may not be payable after 2035 without intervention. This is a crucial point. It's not just about increasing benefits in the short term, it's about securing the long-term future of Social Security. It's an attempt to ensure that this vital program will be there, not just for current retirees, but for generations to come. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. Your perspectives and experiences are valuable, and they help make this channel a resource for everyone. And if you found this breakdown helpful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on this crucial issue. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your financial future. By staying informed and engaged, you're taking an important step towards securing your financial well-being.